Let's just talk about that a minute. And Chris, you know, you were right on something. And this is not, I don't want to be critical of anything in the past, because the past is the past. But there was a group of people called the Division of Planning. To my remarkable surprise, when I began to learn about how we did business, I was told there wasn't any planning done. There were some planners, but they weren't able to do planning. It was a project development office. For those of you who don't know, now I think this is a big announcement, but you know, you might not get really excited about it. But we have recreated, expanded that organization. It is now called the Division of Transportation Systems Development. What does that mean? It means we're about transportation systems. We're not just about highways, we're not just about bridges, we're not just about trains or buses or planes or boats. We're about them all. How do you make them work together in a way that makes us the place to be? The bumper sticker for the 21st century, I'm trying to think, it says it up there at the top. Moving Ohio into a prosperous new world. We tried to say, how can we tell people, you know, if you meet somebody in an elevator and they say, what do you do? What would you say? Could you say it quickly between floor three and floor five? We think that that bumper sticker really captures it. We're moving Ohio. That's moving freight, moving people, anything that we move into a prosperous new world because the focus is economic development, prosperity, population growth, not loss. That's what we're all about. Um, go back one, please. Please look at some of the drivers of our business. See that first one, customer service? I'm hoping that if we come back, Howard, next year, and I gave that little piece of paper out, that maybe customer service would be among one or two of the tops. Because we're the facilitators. That's our job. We need to be faster. We need to find solutions. And you know, somebody said to me, ODOT is the department of slow and no. Now, I know none of you would say that. We're not going to be that. If we were, I'm making no comments about the past. My job is now and in the future. And I know what the governor is asking of us. Um, and I know that we're committed to doing it. Travel choice, might we still go back? Travel choice is the whole multimodalism piece. Innovation and efficiency. You should know that we have just announced the uh, opening of an office. It's the most exciting title, I think. I mean, I get so excited about these things. It's the Office of Innovation, Partnerships, and Energy. And the people in that office are charged with finding you out there with the best ideas, finding the partnerships that leverage money and make public-private partnerships happen, finding ways that we can invest dollars to create a new energy economy in this state, innovation, partnerships, and energy. And we will have a leader of that office that will not be uh, satisfied unless we are the best in the nation in all those areas. And finally, win-win relationships, that's what it's all about. Whether, whether you're a logistics company, uh, whether you're at the Cleveland Clinic, uh, whether you're a local government, we need to find a solution that is a winner for you. Um, next. I could talk a lot, I, I, I'm afraid I, I need to wrap, but we're investing a lot of money in Ohio right now. We're investing a lot of money in Cleveland. Uh, we are, by the end of fiscal year 10, 2010, we will be investing $2.8 billion in transportation investments in our state. Multimodal investments, you should know that the $774 million that the department received from the stimulus, we have given to FHWA the most multimodal package in the country. You helped us. 
The planning agencies helped us. We invested in more local projects than anyone in the country because we believe in the locals. We believe in you and your wisdom and your understanding and your willingness to be our partner. But let me say this. What happens, do you think, when you have the most multimodal package in the country? Not business as usual. So FHWA hasn't done many ports. FHWA hasn't done many rail projects. FHWA hasn't done many transit projects. And so it's a struggle. But they've been great, and we are committed to the vision of multimodalism. Um, let's see, keep going. At least look, please, at, at some of the investments right here in the Cleveland area. Uh, 142 million in infrastructure, 44 for Nawaka, 19 for Cleveland Hopkins, 50 to Lake Tran, uh, 50 million to uh, Lake Tran uh, through the FTA, and we're competing for more. We were just there in Washington on Monday and Tuesday, and Governor Strickland is fighting for that money because there are some states. Perhaps you read the state of Michigan is turning back for. Uh, let me see. $745 million of construction dollars. Why? Because they don't have the match. So we're trying to manage our money so we have the match so we can get some of that money and use it for you. Um, there are so many uh, other issues. I just want to at least mention universities. Since University Circle is your thing, Chris, um, one of the recommendations of this 21st Century Task Force is that Ohio competes not only for the four regional centers, which I have signed letters to support the re-upping uh, re of the dollars, but for a national center of transportation excellence that will be second to none in this country, that will really focus on bringing transportation and business investments together to benefit local and regional initiatives. Um, Finally, how can you make it happen? Resources, we're going to talk a lot about them. We don't have enough. Statewide, nationally, we don't have enough. We're underinvesting in transportation for the last 30 years. We're so far behind China, India, and the global competitors that are really our competitors. There's going to be a luncheon speaker. I'm going to leave that all to him because Senator Voinovich and Senator Brown and our entire uh, delegation in Washington from Ohio is fighting for a transportation bill that ups the level of investment to a realistic match to needs and gives us the kind of things that we're fighting for, flexibility, so that you mentioned, somebody mentioned operating uh, for, the, for the transit agencies being such a critical need. Joe, you've educated me so well. And Ray, everybody has made it abundantly clear and I knew it, but you made it better. I understand better. Um, that's our fight. And we need you to go to your representatives, the local level, the state level, let me emphasize the state level, and the federal level, and say, ladies, gentlemen, we are advocates for transportation. We can't live without it. We need the resources to match the need, because even in a time of economic stress, it's even more important to invest in things that are important and last. Thank you. How many just want to stretch and keep going? <laughs> I guess we'll take a 10 minute break, come on back. <laughs>